Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. What you're looking at is my almost free generator from eBay. How was it almost free? Well, it started out costing uh, about 250 bucks, but if you buy enough junk from eBay, particularly PayPal, they send you all these eBay gift certificates. And they sent me nine of them. So, this generator cost me 25 bucks over eBay. Why did I buy it? Um, I bought it specifically because it's dual fuel, it uses propane and, uh, or, propane or gasoline. Um, I haven't looked at the book yet, so I haven't figured out if you have gasoline in it, what it does with the propane, or vice versa, or if there's a switch, you switch, or whatever. Um, I still haven't gotten that far. part. Gotten that far. <laughs> we'll do the um, uncrating together. But just quickly, so it runs about 10 hours on a on half load for a tank of gasoline, which is about three and a half gallons, or it runs about 12 hours on one of these propane bottles. I pay $10 for these propane bottles when I uh, bring them in to get them filled. And if you do the math with that, 12, you know, you come up to about 90 cents an hour. And it's interesting, if you do the math for the gasoline, you also come up pretty close to 90 cents an hour. They're both like 85, 86, 7 cents an hour. So the price is, is really about the same. Why would you want to use propane instead of gasoline? Um, propane doesn't gel up your carburetor, which means at any point, any time, assuming nothing happened to the ignition or anything else, you never ran gas in it, you put propane to one of these things, it will always start. You're not always fussing around with is my gasoline any good or all that other kind of stuff. The other thing you get out of propane, your generator runs clean. Um, it, it doesn't have the emissions of gasoline. Obviously, you don't want to hang out in an enclosed room with it. Um, it does uh, burn off oxygen and it does put carbon dioxide in the air. But you're not finding carbon monoxide and a bunch of the other nasties with gasoline. The other thing is propane. This bottle, as long as you don't let the bottom rust out, uh, will last more or less forever. Gasoline, you got to be careful. It has a shelf life. So given that it costs about the same amount of money to run them, there's a lot of reason to consider using propane. The only bad thing about propane is you got to maintain uh, a stock of cylinders. You could see you'll be burning two cylinders a day. So, unless you have yourself a horde of cylinders, which, by the way, I just happened to, um, you gotta you gotta dig up cylinders somewhere. So anyway, uh, let's unbox it and see what it looks like. So here we have the generator out of the box. Um, supposedly it's reconditioned, but I smelled the gas tank. I smelled. The propane hose, I smelled where the propane inlet goes into the generator. Um, I looked it over really well. To be honest with you, it doesn't look like it's ever been out of the box. Normally you see some indication of that. So I'm not sure why they're saying it's reconditioned. By the way, it came with the tool kit. Came with a little oil filling funnel. And obviously it came with the propane regulator. You kind of want to make sure you get that junk because particularly the propane regulator could set you back a few bucks. So it's nice to have all that right with it. Um, they include a nice little picture here and all kinds of instructions. Uh, this generator does not have 220 available. It does have 12 volts. It does have 120. It does have an RV plug on it. It does not have electric start. You got to pull the string. But once again, the story with propane is it's supposed to be easy to start. I'm going to get oil into it and get it all set up. We'll give it a couple of tugs and see what happens. So setting up this thing is a piece of cake. You put 20 ounces of oil into it. You know, put the connector 
on the bottle. Hook the hose up. I mean, all very simple. They say, then you just turn on the bottle, set the choke. Which way is your choke? Turn that off. Um, set the choke. And then, um, it's just a matter of pulling the string and seeing what happens. Um, <laughs> old one-handed Harvey's gonna try to do this one-handed. Well, old one-handed Harvey needs two hands. I can put this down. I'm wearing gloves. So that's slowing me down a little bit. So that's on, on. The paint is on. Seems to start easy, run good. Obviously no smoke, no bad sounds. You could see that saw is not trivial. It, um, even running without cutting wood, you're burning almost a thousand watts. Um, 991 I think it was. Um, and you could see when you first fire it up, it's almost a dead short. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? What I like about it is I could put it on my back porch. Um, I can leave the cylinder outside, right? I don't need to put that in. Just use a little something to cover the regulator up or the hole where the regular where the hose plugs into so I don't have bugs building nests in there. But it, it looks simple enough, right? Just hook the hose up, pull the string, and on a full tank of gas, you got 12 hours of power it says um, if you use half the rated power so call it 3600 watts so you could be running 1800 watts um, if you're a contractor and you're using one of these um, normally you don't unless unless you're in a house that you're trying to run one of those heaters running a um, uh, one of those oil fired he heaters or something normally you just fire up to cut and quite honestly, a bottle of propane would last you quite a while. You're not spilling it all over the place. Um, this thing would go virtually forever running on propane without having to change the oil, right? Um, especially if you let it warm up and dry itself out. So to me, it looks like a great deal. Um, from a China generator point of view it likes looks like all the others I've had obviously I haven't put a thousand hours on this thing yet so I don't know if it's good for 
you know, 50, 100, 500, 1,000, 15, 2,000 hours. I mean, it's not a Honda, so I'm not thinking it'll go thousands of hours. But it should go, you know, several hundred, I would think, um, without too much uh, trouble. Yeah, you never know the life expectancy of these things. I have one of the kind of original China copies. It's known as a long life generator. And it probably has like 300 hours on it or so. So I gave it to my son who um, never loses power out by him. Um, because it's electric start, it's easy to start. It's, um, it's also got a 220 plug on it should he need that. So I gave it I gave it to him to use, um, and once again he never loses power out there. But you know, should he? It it's been good. It's got hundreds of hours on it. So that's my experience with some of this China stuff. Um, other people, they don't have very good experience, though. You run across people who buy a Chevy truck and say they drove it for 400, 500, 600,000 miles, a million miles, and all they ever did was um, put gas in it. And then you have other people who buy a brand new Chevy truck and they don't manage to get to 3,500 before they blow up the transmission, the rear view mirror falls off and everything else. So I don't know. Uh, different people have different experiences. To me, most of my stuff lasts a long time and I've had pretty good luck with you know, the China version of the generators. Um, you know what? For 25 bucks, I think I got a heck of a deal. I want to thank everybody for dropping the by, by to watch this video. Please remember to keep your feet down, your heads up. Please let me know if you like this. Um, I'm going to give it a positive review. Um, remember, feet down, heads up. Get out there and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.